News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Starting out with a beautiful scenic shot looking here, as you can see over Bogus Basin and down into the Boise Valley. Look at the Oahu. So you just about see everything from this vantage point. And then look at the sunny conditions off the snow throughout the area. And even toward this evening, like I said, the sunset is shortly after 6 o'clock, so it's nice to see. As you notice, the West Coast still has those temperatures in the 50s, and you can almost pretty much say that they're going to drop into the 40s. And then over here, the mid-Idaho is the 30s, and then even some, look at that, teens. That's the high in Idaho Falls today, 19 degrees. Of course, they have a lot of snow on the ground. In Boise, beginning of last week, we had some temperatures that were pretty cold. But just to let you know, you know, over the last week or so, it hasn't been too bad. And many of these temperatures are just about average or above average with some of the temperatures we're having right now. As you look ahead to tomorrow, high temperatures will be around 40 degrees. Uh, lows will be down around 20 for the Magic Valley, Central Mountains. There's an 8 for Fairfield, down to 2 for Stanley. Uh, Stanley was even a little colder last night. Uh, when you look at McCall, down to 12 degrees. Temperatures are right around 40. Council with 42 degrees. Tomorrow's temperatures will be pretty close to 50. They're coming up just a little. It's not going to hang in there for a long time, but they're going to come up, like I said, just a little. As you can see, 51 for the high in Boise. Meridian at 51 degrees. Our low tonight will be down to 27 with winds at 10 miles an hour. We're looking between about 5 to 9 o'clock in the morning. The wind chill is likely around 18 degrees. So just prepare for that. And think about the fact that it's going to be 51 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. Now, this is our latest satellite picture. And you see the clear skies, which allows the temperatures to really drop off at night. We have a storm system out to the west. You're watching that at the beginning of the week. It was a pretty good sized storm system, but then as you can see, it's breaking up. Most of it's heading north. The pressure differences between the storm off to the west as well as southern Idaho is causing some of those winds. We've got another storm coming in, and the pattern's about exactly the same. Another weakening storm system, another situation where we're likely going to be seeing those winds gusting a little bit from here to there as we get into next week. So as you look at the high temperatures over the next 10 days, uh, notice we have a little, little drop there on Tuesday. It's a storm system that we're expecting some light snow. But again, temperatures are up around average. Nighttime lows are cold. They're mainly in the 20s, upper 20s to right around 30 degrees. There's a couple of exceptions there. But as we get to next week, see temperatures will be upper 20s to right around 30 degrees. So the seven day forecast stays dry and we've got plenty of sunshine. Hope you're enjoying the sunshine. And as we get into Monday, late Monday and Tuesday, there's the little dip in the temperature. And at this point, there's a chance of light snow as far as the valley is concerned. Not a lot in the mountains. And toward the end of next week, highs will be the low to the mid 40s. And we're back with more news in just a moment.